Bradley, I'll tell you what we're talking about next. Uh, Tyler, give us a little Destiny 2 rundown. Now that it's free, more All, people are playing it. Me again? Yes, by the way, going into this, everything you're about to hear is free, except for maybe the parts that aren't free. I don't know, Tyler, you, you know stuff <laughs> Thank that Thank you, I... Bradley, very helpful. Tyler, no stuff that I know. Oh man, y'all are y'all are spoiling me with me getting to talk so much. I hope y'all know that. Well, We're I, glad I you're more, in the galaxy. Yeah, and then y'all are gonna kick me out of here in like ten minutes. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Get the fuck out! Of here. Better enjoy your time um, while you can. Anyway, so Destiny uh, Studio Bungie has been set free from their. Uh, from the publisher Activision, I won't go, I won't actually get into anything negative here. That was that was a, a glorious day in Tyler history. The word oh. Overlord was about to come out, and Tyler resisted. I I will say that I follow a lot of the developers at Bungie, uh, on Twitter. They I'm I'm pretty sure they had parties for the next couple of days after that. Like they were partying already and celebrating, and I'm sure like of course they said like it was great in a lot of ways to get the project started and it wasn't a negative thing that they parted ways i mean they seem pretty happy about it then huh bungie was happy about it as well as activision was because they wanted to pursue something and believed in something that activision didn't really see and so activision was like okay well y'all want to do this we we've been struggling a lot to keep like moving on with this so we're okay to part if you are they were really happy about it because now they're able to pursue their vision of what the Destiny 2 franchise can become uh, versus what Activision wanted to become. So with that being said, actually, Bungie's been able to be a lot more open about their development process. Uh, they had like a third, uh, the game direct director, uh, Luke Smith, actually released like a 30 page like diagnosis of Destiny 2 so far. Um, like all the uh, uh, problems that were currently ongoing or what problems they've had all the way up until this point with destiny mm. 2 problems mm. solutions good things bad things it's just a 30 page a, analysis like of a post-mortem uh, midway through like the life cycle of the game pretty okay. much yes uh so this year october 2nd october 1st actually i think uh, Destiny 2 became free to play with a uh, st- it transferred to Steam away from uh, uh, Blizzard's app. What is that? Uh, Battle.net. Battle.net. Yeah, Battle.net. They, re- they removed themselves from Battle.net and transferred over to Steam. Everybody was able to keep their content because Bungie also wanted to do cross saving because it is Destiny 2 is available on PS4 and Xbox One, and they wanted people to be able to and PC now. And they want people to be able to move between platforms really easily so they can play with all of their friends. And also, that's just so good because I know one reason that people are really worried. And I don't know if you should call it worry when it's like a certainty. Um, They're worried that Overwatch isn't going to do amazing on Switch because so many Overwatch players are like, I'd have to literally restart my entire profile because there's no cross saves. So they're like, I'm just not going to get it. Yeah. Fair and, enough. And I had to do that with Destiny 2 whenever I first initially. I, I got it on Xbox and then like two months later or three months later, it came out on PC and I went hard on Xbox. Like I almost got completed all of the content within that first two and three months. And like Destiny content, there's usually a lot. Uh, Depends on who's hearing that and who's actually, like, playing, you know? Uh, if you're casual, there's a lot. If you go hard, there's not enough. That's just how it be. Yeah, yeah no, that's fair. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I know in Monster Hunter, it can be the same way sometimes. Yeah, that's like going through all of the newest Monster Hunter content. Uh, what was it, the Ice one? Yeah, the Iceborne, and, like, you complete all the story missions, and you're like, oh, well, that wasn't enough. Granted, there's a post-game, but, like, people do... Like, they, they finish stuff really early, and then they get to the post-game, and they haven't adjusted some things because of feedback, so they have to kind of deal with, like, a lesser state for a while. Mm-hmm. So that's, like, people will go through all of, like, Shadowkeep just came out, and I'll talk more about that. That's their recent most recent expansion. But uh, people go through that content in, like, a week. Um, that's for their really hardcore player base. 
and they've catered content really well for that player base because they're like hey we know y'all are gonna go through all this content in like a few days all right here's the raid gonna drop get like here's the raid if you beat it in the first 24 hours you get the super cool emblem you beat it in the first two weeks hey here's a bomb ass like 150 dollars jacket you can buy like, so there is incentives for all these hardcore speed runny types yeah and i'm like that i did that last year around this time hell to the no this time <laughs> I, I, I i killed myself trying to keep up with that first week i cannot do it i will say though all the like jackets and like clothing items tyler has shown us like dude Bun bungee's styles on point they're looking like, pretty clean not gonna lie pretty fresh oh those shoes i showed y'all are sold out and they have uh new ones i think like Ooh. a new set of uh pre-orders those are pre-orders by the way for shoes by a game studio that is like, very not what you would expect like th their fashion does whoever their product designer is at bungie i want to work with them they're fantastic they're great um but uh okay so they came out and they said all right we're gonna give you all the content that came out in the first year for free this is destiny 2 new light you can download it on steam right now um now this first year content there's a good amount of content that came out in that first year however if you were playing during that time you would have absolutely hated it the first expansion that came out was uh osiris and it took this really great character that we've been like learning about in destiny one for so long and they literally just threw him like they gave him the shitty parachute and just kicked him out of the airplane Ooh. and said good luck um they create they took mercury which had been this really cool environment in destiny one and made it into like a big circle there was this pro weird procedurally generated environment that they were like oh yeah like every time you go in there it's going to be different and everybody was like oh that's cool but then there was nothing to do in that environment so literally everybody just runs through it every single time is that the There's thing no we did together the other day yeah yeah mm -hmm. i didn't mind it but i guess yeah. i only did one right i didn't do like many yeah. of them they actually repurposed that for the halloween event that's about to come out and it's perfect for that like mm -hmm. ooh good use good good clutch save and then you have uh what else came out in year one um war mind where we learn about rasputin and uh the uh. Bray, and you go to mars that's a good story that's actually some good content right there there's a lot of great weapons that were like around in destiny for two for a really long time there's some really cool armor sets and some great lore uh in that expansion now that's free for what y'all that that's what y'all have access to now but along with that you can go explore the new environment, like the new open world spaces that came out in Shadowkeep, which is the moon. You can go to year two spaces, which are the Tangled Shore and the, the Forgotten City or the Lost City. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, you, uh, you get access to all the Crucible maps, all the PvP maps. Uh, you get access to all the dungeons. Well, all the strikes dungeons are something else specific that they release that you don't have access to but you have access to every strike in the game uh you get to do the holiday events that when they come out and you get access to all the year one exotics all the year one weapon exotics armor exotics uh and, and it's fantastic the only thing you may not have access to that is really a shame is the year two subclasses where that's like the titans get to be thor um that does sound fun yeah you get to like throw a hammer around it's fantastic but you know what we're getting so much content free um i feel like this is a really good strategy to get me hooked in because i got to play with tyler and i was like hey you know what this is pretty fun i'm not i'm really not into shooters but i was having a good time um, that's the thing like he was kind of talking about these different weapon types like the the hammers and shit but like that's the deal. like I'm not big into shooters, but there's so many different weapon types. Like you have the swords and all these different kinds of guns that like eventually even I found one gun where I was like, you know what? It feels pretty damn good to shoot this gun. So uh and see that's the thing, is like they have the starting guns. The starting guns are fantastic to shoot. And they just get better. It's fan it, it, it's I played a lot of first person shooters. Like I like I'll drop it. Yeah, I went all the way back to Goldeneye, but I also played things like Doom, 
uh titanfall is great up there uh perfect dark like back in the nintendo 64 days and then i played things like counter-strike overwatch um sniper elite and nothing feels more satisfying than shooting destiny 2's guns punching aliens in the face in destiny 2 you have swords and bows and arrows and even those just feel so spa- satisfying because it's like every time your arrow flies and you get a headshot, there's this huge explosion that you see on the alien's head. It makes this nice little punch sound. It's great. Um, and you get so much content for free. It's awesome. I am very pleased. Like, this was such a cool move. Uh, I think on their part, and I hope I hope it's paying off. I hope there's a lot of people. Um, going ahead and picking up the full like service by you just have to buy the game right there's no subscription it's just a game nope nope you just download <laughs> new light and you can go even fucking it. better i like to hear e- that even right now as we speak it is number three uh number three most played game on steam that's behind Dude. counter strike and dota 2 and that's ahead of player unknowns battlegrounds Wow. Uh, team TF2 and Rainbow Six Siege, um, even Grand Theft Auto Five, and this is a game that's just starting its third year of live services. Um, there, everybody was really worried that Destiny Three was going to happen, and at one point, it, it it was, and they actually said, "Yeah, it'll probably happen soon, or eventually, eventually." Um, since then, like they haven't said a single another word about it. Uh, it may not actually be happening anymore at this point. Um, we'll, we won't know because they want to work on Destiny 2 for another uh, two to three years. They've already said that it will have a minimum of a five-year lifespan. Okay. I, I remember them saying that, like, Destiny 1 was ten years or something, and then they didn't really follow through with it. No, they said Destiny will have a ten uh, Oh, life. yeah, sure. The asterisk. Destiny back when there was only one Destiny. <laughs> yeah, what, they, they said the Destiny universe will have a 10-year okay. life. They did not use the word universe. They said they didn't, Destiny. They didn't, they, they didn't technically They cheat. didn't fucking know. <laughs> but uh, what's happening right now is great. They've already said they will have a new game. They have a new IP that's going to come out in like 2023 or something. Uh, oh. So we'll have to see what that is. But with year three that's about to happen, they're doing this whole like guild wars 2 type of unfolding story where they have season pass and they had a season pass in d1 they just brought it back now and uh as you play through it all like every season is going to have some type of like overarching story for the next year uh with lots of miniature stories in between so i'm really excited to see how this happens uh, the lore in Destiny is also great. If you're a really big story junkie and you want to know all these characters, all their backgrounds, where they come from, oh, Destiny has more lore than you will be able to know what to do with. I uh, I am very impressed with... I can tell that they put effort into the story. And I might not be interested in it. I'm not much of a sci-fi uh, space kind of guy. Um, but maybe one day I'll dive in because like, they... I appreciate passionate storytelling either way. The the developers are mega hella passionate. Mega hella. Mega hella. Mega hella. Anyway, uh, it's really great because there's a lot of interesting characters. Uh, I, I say that, but like the main one right now for me is the Dredgen or uh, the Drifter. It's this weird guy who just kind of shows up out of nowhere. He looks like a human, but he's like thousands of years old. So he's seen some shit. Um... But you don't really know what shit, and you have to kind of figure that out. And there was some game-related content in the first year that they got rid of that, guess what? He's associated with those people from that year one content. So, oh shit, what's happening with that? We don't know. Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It's great. I look forward to hearing it from you. It is our destiny. Experience it for me. I I will rant about it uh, at 3 a.m. whenever I, I... figure it out whenever i solve the mystery good i hope you can you and you and uh god uh nicholas cage i was about to yeah. call him luke cage which would have been very embarrassing scorpion you know? <laughs> all right